Alright guys, so this is my bathroom. I have the ring light in here because if I turn on the light, it's yellow and then the fan is going to make noise. So I don't know if you guys can hear me, so I'm going to turn it off. Plus it looks better, right? <laughs> that yellow light is, ugh. Anyways, this is the only light that I have. It's pretty small, so I have to be like out here to be able to film because my lens is not wide enough to like record the whole bathroom. This is a rental, but I've been dying to fix this bathroom. It's just very simple, very, you know, basic. So I wanted to, you know, spice it up a little and it can look nicer. So there's a couple of things I'm going to show you guys that I am going to do to my bathroom. Um, this DIY, I don't know if it's going to be as affordable as my kitchen for some of you. You guys love that video. Uh, for the bathroom, it's, it's a little more difficult because there's a lot of things that you will have to like um, change so it can look nice. Like I've mentioned, this is a rental. So therefore, all the changes that I'm going to do to this bathroom today... I will have to switch them back the day I move. I don't mind doing that. The things that I picked up are affordable and I don't mind doing it because I just want the bathroom to look really nice. So I'm going to remove the vanity light. I am going to take off the medicine cabinet. bathroom white and then we're going to put everything that I got to decorate the bathroom so this is copper it's painted but it's copper one of these caps turn them so you can more black with black and then neutral with the white White with white. Tuck them in. There. As much as you can. Now let's get started with the main reason of why I did this whole makeover to my bathroom. As you can see, this is what I'm working with. I really don't like the way this looks. This half wall that mimics this fake tile. I think these are called panels. So I found this vinyl paper at Amazon. I love the way it looked. I saw so many images in, on Pinterest of how I would like for my bathroom to look. So when I saw this paper, I said, this is perfect. So the way that you're going to place this paper, you're going to make sure that the tiles match. Every time that you cut a piece of paper and you're going to your next section on the wall, make sure, as you can see right here, that each line is connecting so it can mimic that style of tile. So as you can see right there, and then it will continue on and on. So every time that you cut a piece of paper, you're going to make sure that each tile matches. Whether you have to lift the paper up or down, the paper has to match with the tile so it can mimic the tile look and it can look as realistic as possible. So here I am starting to place it down and you see the two areas that I was just talking about, making sure these two lines connect. Also, the paper from the back, remove it by sections. Don't pull it completely. It will be a mess if you mess up in a corner and then you're just, you know, messing up this paper. So just do it sections by section, press down. I did it with my hand. This paper is very easy to work with. And right here, as you can see, I'm showing you. This is how I do it. I pull the paper from the back little by little 
once I am done placing down that paper that I just pulled, then I'll just continue pulling it from the back, but I won't just remove that whole paper. That's your security in case you do mess up with this paper. Also, you have air bubbles with the tip of your knife. Gently, you're going to pop that bubble, then you're going to release the air by pressing down on the vinyl paper and then that will be completely gone that is a question that i got asked so many times on my kitchen video so just answering that for you and right here as you can see i'm doing sections and from the back i'm pulling the paper as soon as i'm done with that section i'll do that again never remove the whole paper trust me guys after that this is how this section of my bathroom is looking so far and I love it. Another thing, I came across this a couple of times at first when I did it. And I actually do, did two sections of my bathroom like this. And I was like, wait, this is not looking right. So when you cut the paper every time that you're placing it, as you can see right there, when it's time to connect, for some reason, it gives you this diamond shape right there. You see that? And to tell you the truth, you guys, that is the easiest way for you to place this paper. The way I am doing it is more difficult, but it looks better in my opinion. So if you like that diamond style right there, once you cut the paper, it's going to continue doing that over and over. And it won't look like this that I'm showing you, like the tile. See right there? It looks like a diamond shape in the middle. It will continue like that if you're going to place it that way. If not, you're going to have to get the paper, lift it up or down, it depends, mostly up because of course you want to match bringing it down, you're going to have some paper on the top without it. So right there, I am connecting the tile and it gives you that look that I am doing back and forth with the tiles, nothing else in between, but again, the easiest way is with that diamond look, but I really don't like it. So I just wanted to show you just in case you do purchase this paper and you're like, wait a minute, this is not how she had it at all. That's going to happen. So make sure that you lift the paper up and every tile gets connected because if not, it's going to, if you're just going to place it down, that's what's going to happen. It's going to give you that diamond look.
unfortunately you guys in this section right here right when i was getting towards the end because this is my door is right there my camera died and i didn't continue to film it because i was already tired and i wanted to finish it up so i'm sorry that we're gonna just go to the next clip this is electric tape if i'm not mistaken it's black it matched it looked fine i wanted to cover this section right here that i did not like and then I was just looking for some vinyl paper at Amazon that they were very thin, like the size of this tape. And they were like $15, some of them. So I was like, ah, forget it. I already have this at home. It matches. You would think that it looks tacky, but it doesn't. It actually matches perfectly. And it looks just like a vinyl paper if you was to press it down in this section. So that is what I used and I just feel like the edges look so much better and it makes that paper even stand out much more. And once that was done, I placed everything back and everything just looked so beautiful and put together. I really like the way this bathroom turned out. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions that I might have not mentioned. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked it. And I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys.